other things. Um, can I get a shout from a stupid name? <laughs> Ugh. Luke does stuff. I don't know what he does, but I'm sure he does stuff. How much stuff is he tough? I don't know. What's Tom Stockdale got? I don't... That was pretty cool, wasn't it? I was not expecting that to happen, to be honest. Not one bit. Yeah, it it's amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Tom Stockdale, for you know actually you know giving me a shout out. That was how super cool. That was super super cool, awesome, and I'm still you know trying to go through still trying to mull over that moment you know you know that is a totally epic gamer moment really isn't it also my hair uh, I've decided to change up my style a bit whether this works or not I don't know whether this sticks or not I don't know but so far uh, can't complain um uh yeah today's scheduled programming love island i hate it it's the worst it's the worst program in the world ever it is it just is i don't like it can you get off the telly please ugh and so basically Love Island is a show that's really fucking popular in the UK yeah and because I've been hearing a lot about it I thought oh why don't why don't I watch an episode see what all the hype is about I don't understand what all the hype is about to be honest it's it's a really weird premise they've had like 300 people come into the show now because they have, they have every time someone gets knocked off the show, someone else replaces them. It's like, it's like Hydra. You cut off one head, two more will take its place. And instead of, instead of two cool Hydra heads, it's just two chaps that walk onto an island and have sex for, for views, literal views. It, and it's popular. It's so popular in Britain. Uh, I don't know if you have like a, a similar thing in America and other countries, but it's really damn popular, and it's typical British television, isn't it? You get, you get the people that used to bully you in, in school, and you stick them on an island and watch them have sex, and watch them couple up, and you know, ugh. they have an app, they have an app game. Well, it's not really a game. It's it's literally just, you know. Um, an audio drama, or uh, you know, you play one of the one of the islanders, and you get to couple up with people, and you get to have sex with people, and it's really boring. Like a show about sticking a load of chavs on an island, you think, oh, that that would create some kind of entertainment value. That'll be like Big Brother, where there's going to be arguments all the time. No, it's boring. It's boring it's silly it's stupid and i hate it and i don't like it and it's annoying everyone that get on there see, it seems to just happen to be the most annoying obnoxious human being alive they have really weird voices as well everyone on this on this love island show has the most annoying voice it's like it's like hi how are you hey uh oh really Really, that's that's bonkers, you know, isn't it? Oh, fuck off! Just shut up. Uh, you know, and it's it's so. I tried watching one episode, yeah, one episode. I turned it off after like three minutes because I couldn't be bothered. I just couldn't be asked, you know. It, you would think it, the premise of the show is comedy gold, but they don't go full on with the. They don't go full on enough with it. It's not 
you know, it's not an entertaining show. Uh, you know, a lot of people may get their entertainment out of it. I don't. I think it's boring. I think it's, you know, the most, the most stupid TV show ever. And on a less, a less jokey subject, a more serious subject, Two contestants have committed suicide after coming out of this show. And someone who appeared on Jeremy Kyle. So, after someone someone commits suicide after appearing on Jeremy Kyle, there's a whole palaver about it, and Jeremy Kyle gets axed off of ITV, and there's never going to be a show in the same format of ITV. Love Island, two contestants have committed suicide after the show. The show still goes on, still makes good numbers, still still gets in views, still gets in like uh, almost the whole country or almost every female in the country, because a lot of girls seem to love this love this show. Um, but it still gets in views, it still racks in numbers, it's still got a bit on the side, and there's still shows like Big Brother, still shows like uh, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, still shows like in the same format of that, getting a load of people sticking them on an island to see what happens as a weird social experiment. Um, there's still shows that happen like that, no matter if they're... I doubt it would change if two people had committed suicide or all of the... or like five, ten people had committed suicide. I doubt anything would happen because it's still popular. Jeremy Carr wasn't that popular. It wasn't on at prime time as well. It was on at the in the morning, where most people can't watch it. But yeah, there is there is a I uh, if you like Love Island, you're allowed to like it. If you don't like Love Island, you're allowed to not like it. I'm in the camp where I, d I don't like it. Um, and say what you will, I obviously don't look like someone that's ever going to set foot on that show, uh, and not just for the fact that I, do I don't like the show. It's obvious that they have a certain pool, a certain demographic of people that they're looking for to go onto the, the island, and I do not fit for the island obviously um it's it's just it's just a weird show with a weird premise that could be entertaining but at least what i saw of it is really boring and they don't go the full hog with it it's not it's not like big brother where they're shouting at each other all the time this is literally just watching it's like watching um people try to uh, try to make dates on the school playground but instead it's only the annoying people on the school pay uh, playground that are you know it's only the annoying people on the school playground or the the people that you know basically come watch come watch the popular kids all have sex and let's watch the 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 popular kids in the playground, you know, huddled round each other and, you know, be all lovey dovey and stuff. And no, I don't I don't wanna see that. It's not good television, you know? I, and obviously the it obviously it has its following, it has its um as its people that like it and not to to pull in a demographic but obviously it it pulls in the kind of people that they want on the island that you're not going to have uh, the show isn't aimed towards someone like me and I'm not going to act like it is all I'm going to say is it's the most annoying thing in the world ever and stop throwing it and shoving it down our throats because not everyone wants to watch super, not everyone wants to watch supermodels and people who have paid a thousand 
10 grand on plastic surgery go into an island to bounce their buns and bounce their boobs we don't want it you know a lot of people do but not all of us and you don't have to to change completely change your branding of everything to to be like oh look that's that's popular why don't we just say that Olavia or whatever is um, to do with fucking Love Island. Why don't we get Calux to to help promote it? And like, it's just ah, uh, it's an annoying show. I I hope I got my message across. I know I was really rambly, and if you if you hate me now because I don't like your favourite show, you know, j j please go somewhere else, because the show isn't, the show isn't made for everyone, and that's obvious, and it's obvious that it's targeting a very, a very, like, open area of people, and it's people that have nothing better to do. <laughs> to, to be, to be completely honest, it's the kind of people, the, po the kind of people that they're targeting to watch the show, the kind of people that they'd be targeting to put on the show. You know what I mean? And that, I think, is unhealthy. I think it's unhealthy because the kind of people that they target to put on the show, the kind of people that are... that aren't necessarily dumb, but the, the, they have uh, very malleable minds and very malleable mindsets because I don't want to come off as offensive to anyone but it would seem like the episode that I watched there was one girl that seemed extremely vulnerable uh, with their, their whole like body image and this is something that I felt really uncomfortable watching really because we have this this guy who likes two girls one of them is extremely uncomfortable with their body image and just needs someone to you know make her feel like the only girl in the world and the other one is a supermodel obviously he goes with the supermodel leaving the other one to feel like crap and it feels like that that is the kind of situation that can lead to someone coming out of the show and then you know committing suicide because it's happened before and why why when when contestants you know end up killing themselves after something does the program say right we have to change some stuff now but they haven't and it's and it's stupid and it's weird I don't I don't get it and it is a very unhealthy show and a very unhealthy uh, thing to kind of look at look at this and to be someone who watches all these attractive people you know getting together and then thinking because you'll be in the mindset watching it thinking attractive people are meant to be with attractive people that's just how things work this show is putting attractive people with attractive people and it's showing that that's how it works and that's unhealthy especially for the target audience which is teenagers and it's a very unhealthy message to promote to sell and the people who go on go on to the um, go on to the show don't know better they just don't know better whether they aren't educated enough to question the morals of the show or they're just selected because they're a bit a bit thicker than the rest of us um, and I think that's a really bad thing to to pry on people that think with their jugs, not their brain. It's very... 
it's very, you know, I don't, I don't like that, and I don't like saying the term thinking with their jugs, not their brain, but there's a lot of people on the show that do, and that's very unsettling, to say the least. Um, it's very unsettling, to say the least, to see people on, on this show that, you know, don't, are not trying to belittle anyone or be mean to anyone, but it's very, it's very obvious to sh to see that they've they've select hand selected these people uh, from the things that they say because you have a couple and both of them are obviously people that didn't like listen a lot in school uh, who you know didn't know what co what continent they were in and they're on an island away from away from England. And they're asking each other, oh, how long is it till London? You get, you get what I mean? It, it's very disturbing to watch a show where those are the people on it. It's, it's kind of disturbing. And it's not entertaining to me at all. I think it's... I think it's kind of it's kind of criminal really you're prying on people who who are more vulnerable that don't know better that are very like bad states of mind um and putting them together in a villa and putting all of these like people together in a villa to get in a relationship and for a lot of them it's their first relationship and when that ends because people get taken out, people get taken out of this show, and when you get taken away from someone that you've built a romantic attraction to, and they go away, and you've got to stay there for the next few few weeks without them, with all these other temptations around you, that's torturous, and that can lead to mental health problems. Um, Especially if you're in a very bad place to begin with. See what I mean? It's just a... It, it's a very... I don't... Oh, I didn't know how to how to make this video and to make it on a, both a jokey light and a serious light as well. But I, wa I wanted to give my two cents onto, onto this whole Love Island malarkey. Because I honestly don't understand why it's so popular. Um, I just wanted to, to get my thoughts out there. With that being said, that is the end of this video. I'm going to go back to talking about comic books and geek stuff next in the next one. Um, see you guys in the next video. Peace.